What is going on, people? This is Elder Tenshi, and welcome to another episode of On the Brain. Today, we're going to be talking about the Netflix live-action Death Note adaptation. I've got two people on the panel today. Introduce yourself. I'm just a random guy. And I'm Nab Gita, as always. And it's... <laughs> exactly. And today, we're going to just be talking about what we thought of the Americanized Death Note film brought to us by Netflix... And ver- what was it? Vertigo Entertainment. Uh, okay, first I, off, quit lying to yourself. It wasn't that good. Even talking about it, you, I see signs of you getting a headache. Who said? <laughs> who said I thought it was good? You okay. love it. You want to borrow your collection right yeah. now? No, I do not. You want eight of them? No, 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 I do not. Okay, <laughs> that was just. That, that was just disrespectful, but you know, you know what? Disrespectful I, that I thought that you said it was going to be good, or no, 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 they destroyed it. No, listen, listen. <laughs> I was willing to give it a chance, just like I'm willing to give films a chance before I go in and say, "Oh, this was good or this was bad." And plus, it's on Netflix, so it's not like I'm losing out on things. It's not like I paid for it. You know what I mean? Except the brain cells. You, you are paying for it. You pay for the subscription. I'm paying for the service. I'm not paying for this movie. I'm paying for this and You're a still, bunch of other things I could see. You can't have Netflix. You still got to pay to see it. <laughs> but that counts for anything on that streaming service. Right. That's my point. You know, I just wanted to... It's not like I'm paying to go see this in the, you know, in the movies and then have it completely ruin my movie-going experience. Ruin my movie-going experience. <laughs> oh, man. Well... It ruined my anime experience. Ah. <laughs> oh, boy. I, I just, I went into this knowing that, yeah, it could be a total and complete dumpster fire, but I wanted to give it a shot. They've been trying to do an Americanized Death Note movie for years, and even though I thought it was an interesting concept to try and do, it's ultimately, it it was not needed, you know? Um, but... Uh, no, I can't even say they tried. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I, I'm going to put it to you this way. Yeah. I saw the first five-minute preview, whatever. Mm-hmm. It was cringeworthy to me. Mm-hmm. In all honesty, everybody knew because they the anime, you can't not ever possibly fit all that into one movie. I don't know why they tried. They tried. But because of that, everything was rushed and really, no one really had any motivation for anything. I felt the exact same way. Um, it's, I mean, this this movie already had a lot of controversy going for it anyway. I mean, but. like, I'll put this out there. I thought that the actor for Light's Dad... Mm. If given more times, that he probably was the best actor in there. Really? They gave him little to nothing. To to work with? They gave him little time on the screens. Instead, you just see, like, Mia and, like, making out, like, Death Note some fucking... Young adult novel? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> killing people is the ultimate turn on. <laughs> they're eating chips and <laughs> all this popcorn and crap and watching the news. And That's writing, what it felt like. And so. writing down names. That... Yes. So if you have the death note, you're probably going to get laid. Oh. I mean, let's not mention that there is a hentai where you write <laughs> down women's names and all of a sudden. They become horny and attracted to you. I felt like if I watched that hentai, I would have been more amused. <laughs> I, didn't it, I didn't know it existed, but with the way things are in this day and age, I don't doubt it. Me neither. Not one bit. Not one bit. I, I seriously would have been more amused to watch that than a Netflix Death Note movie. Nab, we were talking about this the other night, and you said you had you you got through the first half of it and had to take a break. Um, 
Yeah, I, I watched. I, I I got to like. Well, I didn't know. I, I I got to like roughly about the first half hour, and I was like, uh, yeah, I need to do something else to before I continue it. And I I put on a couple episodes of the uh, anime. Mm-hmm. And then after after a bit of time passed, then I uh, what you call it? I'll uh, resume the movie and finished it. Mm-hmm. But I only had to take one break. Oh, good. I didn't take any. I didn't take any breaks at all. But in the first few minutes, I hopped on my Twitter, and I just said that. I, I just wanted to to go into this with no bias of the original of the original films or the well, anime or the manga. You're trying to go in with no bias. I yeah. I wanted to try look, I wanted to try to just give it its due on its own merits. No. And I no. couldn't <laughs> Okay. So I'm trying to be nice to things. Man, yeah. You know that's my nature, though. Okay, but, but just by the preview alone, everybody could tell that it was going to be horrible. But, I'm, let's stop rambling on and let's go by, you know, point by point characters, how the screen looked budget-wise and all that crap. Because huh? if we just talk about the movie, mm. we're going to get lost in how crappy it was. Yeah, let well, I will say, okay, I will say there was one saving grace to this. One, just one. There was. Ryuk got yeah. supernatural powers. That was the only saving grace. I was going to say Ryuk as a, as a character in this, even though they barely gave him any real face time. And, and But Willem Dafoe as Ryuk. Voice. Good job. Body. Good job. Voice. His voice. His voice performance. Good. His voice, his voice performance was good. He was believable. Uh, they rushed the heck out of Ryuk's character. They never explained the Apple thing. Why not? They didn't explain a lot of things. They explained the Apple thing. They explained the Shinigami world. Nothing. Nothing. They, even the most crucial part that could have made the movie so much better and ended it when Elle went onto TV, which was stupid. The Shinigami <laughs> eyes. Man, that could have ended the whole movie right there, and I would have been happy at that ending. What, what'd you say? I wouldn't have to watch it. What'd you say, Ned? Well, nothing about the Shinigami eyes. Nothing. <laughs> we barely knew. We barely knew about the Shinigami. I mean, yeah, they mentioned it. We got a little bit of it, but ultimately, they were just talking about Ryuk. We didn't. We didn't hear about anybody else. The Death Note just had drawings of Ryuk in it, and they depowered the Death Note. How in the world are you gonna say that? Oh, we gotta pass this on to another human, and only the only the one that owns the Death Note can see me. Okay. Yeah, if that was true, then half of it was light trying to keep all people from touching the book in the anime. That's why he was probably the first successful human in how many decades or whatever centuries that had the Death Note. He made, what, a hidden shelf within his drawer. Mm -hmm. That if you did not open it... Yeah. That if you did not open it by sticking a pen through the bottom and tried to forcefully open it, the conductors would touch and make a fire as soon as you opened it. You know, they played up... They were trying to play up the horror element in this movie for whatever reason. But there was no horror. No, it's supposed to be... It's supposed to be suspense. It's supposed to be mysterious. It's supposed to be dark. But it's not supposed to be horror. This... I'm going to go off the subject real quick. I watched the interviews with the people. The the Margaret Qualley interview, the one that played Mia, she was like, there's some funny moments in this movie. And I was like... Where? (laughs) Show me all the funny... Show me the funny. It, exactly. Please, where is exactly. The- there, there was no funny moments. I mean, the two people that were supposed to make it funny is Ryuk and Matsuda. They needed Matsuda badly. Mm. I wanted him to so I could laugh. Mm. And the way Ryuk was played, it, it seemed like, well, it, what didn't seem, it was exactly like all they did was like, I'm forcing you to write the book in the book or else I'm going to kill you type thing. And I was like, 
Reed didn't do that. No. First of all, I'm going to switch this to light. Light in the anime wrote in the book because he was bored. And as he was writing, he was like, which humans should I write's name? And then he noticed that there's a lot of people in the world that, in all honesty, people would be happy if they were gone. And right. so that's how he started his old God complex. Right. And the book, though, he wrote a person that was bullying. First off, Light was had that thought within the first few seconds of the book or anime and was like, no, the police will trace it back to me real quick and stop that. He, he did not care about bullying. He turned his eyes away from it. So that whole thing would have happened. Then the whole thing with him needed a reason to kill anybody. He didn't need a reason. Can we just have Light doing that because he was bored? That was reason enough. Mm. I don't know why Hollywood in particular or any of the other Death Note adaptations. His mom died in the Korean one. I don't remember what happened in the Japanese one, but I know that someone close to him died and he felt like he wanted to take out his anger on the world. Yeah, but if I remember correctly, wasn't his mom still alive in the original? Yes. So what the deal? I don't know. Everybody that has done this movie rendition felt like they wanted to make him experience loss when Light never did that. He just did it because he was bored and it's, I wouldn't mind rooting for him just to be a villain. I liked him as just a plain villain. I did not want to try to sympathize with him. That's... Uh, that's yeah, weird. Yeah, there's too much. Like, we gotta make these characters relatable. But they're... <laughs> A lot of these characters aren't reliable. Like, there's there's nothing about light uh, in the manga or anime that is relatable for mm. me, in the very least. No, yeah. and but in this one they made him angsty, and he got bu- was was trying to stop a bully. Okay, I get that. That's no that's that's noble. But one thing I don't get is how backwards the adults are. How in the world did he get in trouble for trying to stop someone from get, from bullying someone else with the stupidest dialogue I've ever heard? Oh, I'm 17, you're 18, so technically you're breaking... You're, this is illegal. I'm like... Look, look, all we know was show him... I mean, Netflix him... Mm-hmm. Was dumb as shit, and he was just a smartass who, even if the guy didn't bully him... I feel like hitting him. <laughs> I wanted him to be caught. I am surprised with how dumb he was. I mean, literally, him and his girl talking about it everywhere. She yeah. looked at it, said, what's a death note? And then he was like, oh, you, you want me to explain it? Light in the anime never talked to anybody about him. Nope. about the death note because he knew it would be instant death sentence it, I mean I mean they didn't want him I guess to be that smart and to be an average teenager but if you wanted him relatable he's stealing answers I want to know. yeah yeah at least if you wanted him at least put common sense <laughs> they made everybody <laughs> lacked common sense. I, I, I really don't. I, I really don't understand what their what their motive was. Like I would be more s- sympathetic towards Light if he wasn't such a dick to his dad. Okay, I get it. You're like your mom. Your mom died, but that doesn't mean you have the right to cuss out your your dad and then him just basically say, you know what? It's because of the you know it's because of the loss. I understand that, but you know if. if if that was any one of us, we wouldn't be able to get a word out. Okay, I think they just had an excuse for him to cuss throughout the entire freaking movie. Yeah. <laughs> also, I'll break this up. Me and, and Nab Gina talked about it because we realized how stupid he, it was. That one scene that shouldn't even been in there. What's that? When he threatened to write Ryu's name in the death note. One... 
Reap sh- said this in the show. Y- you can write my name, but it won't kill me. Two, when Reap was like... Right, and then, like, the movie version is like, the most anyone's ever gotten... I have four letters of a name, the most anyone's ever written it was two letters. Yeah. And that made no sense because right on the first page it said Ryuk was not your friend. <laughs> Don't trust Ryuk. He, so In like big letters. So when when you realize that his name was already in the book, that scene lost its merit and just showed how stupid Light was even further. But it also shows how dumb the writing was. Yes. And, because you're 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 redconning your own continuity while this is still going on. I'm like, it, it was this a deleted scene that somebody decided to to put in or what? Uh, no, this is this is like in the very beginning movie. I think it's the depth where he's looking it over, and we see uh, what he is reading. Where he's skimming, pat, well, not even skimming, just skipping rules, just right. reading whatever rule he wants. Mm-hmm. But, <laughs> and uh, on one of the rules pages, it, it says on, on the corner of the page, uh, don't trust Ryuk. <laughs> I believe it's more of the different writers did not bother to look at each other's writing in the script. whole scripts <laughs> and just let it fly by. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. they figured nobody would pay attention. But because this has such a large fan base, and I'm a heavy fan of the anime, I noticed all those little flaws, mm-hmm. which made me even more mad. Man, I, um, which, which, um, which we call it? I was not on the uh, that whole. Oh my god! I can't believe they changed. You know, they changed uh, light into a white guy, or or Mia into this, or whatever. My 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 whole my whole thing was: if you're gonna change the character around, why does light have to be such a pushover? I actually liked Mia, but not as the oh, aggressive like, cheerleader. Well, the right mind of like Mia. She's horrible. She's the worst character. Here's the th- but here's the thing though. The reason why I like Mia is because they essentially gave her light like personality. Ruthlessness. So that's why I liked her. I'm like, if uh, they They only gave her one aspect, her ruthlessness. That was it. Because let's face it, in the book she was a ditzy woman that she put all her feelings out there in the world. Yeah. <laughs> and she was a pop star. Now my why in the world would you turn that? If she could have still been like a up and coming pop star or something, I mean, it wouldn't have made a real difference. But cheer, aggressive cheerleader, who we don't really get a lot of background for. But who am I kidding? We didn't really get a lot of background for anybody. We just got the the action scenes. The music choices weren't that bad. And uh, but. It, it, it's it's just you have all this potential here to do your own thing and what you do is try to repeat the mistakes of what others have done make it worse <laughs> and make and make it worse you okay so there's okay there's the manga there's the anime there is three movies Japanese movies. Three Japanese Four. movies. Well, if you count Four. the L spinoff, so yeah. Four Japanese films and one Korean film. No and- Korean. Koreans made a fucking love drama bullshit series, which I only watched two episodes and could not stomach it because they. You could roast that without me, but basically they made light. <laughs> Misa's creepy stalker fanboy. That's what I didn't get. Like I, I heard nothing but bad, you know, but bad things about the Korean um, we're, adaptation. We're, we're not here to talk about the Koreans. So but let's keep on Netflix. But the yeah, but the net, but the Netflix version. I just like man, why couldn't you? And, and, and I guess this is just me. Like, all right, we've already seen the story, especially the fans. But if you're going to do something new, if you're going to do something new with it, then go like balls to the wall. Make it so this happens in America, but you do reference. And I don't mean like subtly reference. I mean, like this happened years after the original, you know, the original and give them their so own stories. Or, you know, or or something that actually re- reflects on the uh, on the original, okay. you that, know. That would be good, but they did reference Japan twice. Twice, 
twice. Twice. And both of those times, I cringed because I was like, thank you, movie. I could, I know I could be watching the better anime or Japanese <laughs> movies, but I'm stuck here watching this crap so I could get a feedback. And after that, I'm never going to watch it again. I you know I and, and and I'm surprised because when I initially asked you to help us out with this review, you said no. I want nothing to do with it. So I'm glad that you but, that but you changed your mind. Was so crap that I had to voice out my opinion. I, and, and I appreciate that, homie. I'm glad you cha- but, you changed your mind. Now th- this really annoyed me because Death Note by itself is not really that much action. At all. No. Instead, it's a cat and mouse game between L and Kira, and then later on with uh, L's successors. Mm-hmm. And there, you got none of that. Light was dumb as shit. L. And overacted every line he had, but. No. L. You couldn't even get any faintly of the smart things. All you did was see you go like. Talk like the L thing, but he didn't put any of the smarts behind him. Mm-hmm. Like how L in the anime, all he, he narrowed it down to Japan because of the killings, the first uh, heart attack that showed up, and then to separate which part of Japan, he made that the air at well his thing with Lindell Taylor L in the Kanto region of Japan first. Mm-hmm. And when he died in cancer region first, L popped up. And that was the oh my god moment. There was nothing to show of any of them being smart. All it did was I made these two Yakuza groups fight and I gave the information somewhere. I'm like, okay, you gave the information out, but how? How did you narrow it down? Where did you give it to? They didn't tell us. And I guess since they were trying to cram so much into an hour and a few minutes, they... Hour and a half. Hour and a half. Okay, hour and a half. Uh, Okay, well, still, it it really... At this point, it's like, why why couldn't you give us some more explanation? We didn't have... hmm? I'm going to say the stuff, the expressions between L and Kira. They... They said that was justice, right? Mm. Oh, and the he said it plainly. He didn't really care about justice. He just did it because it was his hobby. Right. And the you know harder it was, the more fun he was having. That's why he was chasing down Kira. Mm-hmm. And there he, he was his odd justice. And the thing is, though, every time they did something to one up a person, the, the other person went like. I got this instead. After he did the Lindell Taylor, what did he do? He concentrated the killings more in Japan. Then after he concentrated the killings more in Japan, what did L do? He sent out... Well, he noticed that the killings were a school child time. Then, to get that out the way, he was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to kill everybody on an hour of every hour. So he found out from the police, and he got the FBI agents... He killed the FBI agents, and that's when L was like, oh, okay, now I put the recorders in your room, and I'm going to go up to you and tell you that I am L. That was them one-upping each other. Kira, well, Light in there. I'm not, I don't even want to call him not Light because it just feels like. It doesn't fit. Yes, at all. Like, why? Why do they call him Light in this? Is that it? He doesn't it deserve really- to be called Light. <laughs> <laughs> After he narrowed it down to somehow Seattle, Washington, he was like, "Okay, I'm done with the Death Note. Let, let's lay low." And then Mia was the one that called him a bitch and was like, "We gotta keep it going. We yeah. gotta keep it going." Yeah. Even though you know, I'm not saying to, she. To me, she wasn't all that bad based on her crazy development during the you know, during the movie. That young adult stuff I could do without. Even though I'm a you know I'm a romantic, it had no place in here. None. Do you know? Nah, give us your thing because we I've been ignoring you for a little bit. Well, 
push a car, you know, for, and for like a small chunk, well, a decent chunk of this movie, I thought uh, Al's character was believable up until towards like the end when he started going crazy. Oh, when it became like a I 80s it. cop no, film? went crazy and was like, you're yeah. here, I know it, go fuck up, I wouldn't do it, yep. And then he showed up, he showed up in his house just like screaming and going crazy. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go on now. Out of my opinion, and the first thing I called bullshit when they put on L because he was not the leg man. If that was true, it would have just been Watari in that scene with the Yakuza killing. Not to mention that Yak that Yakuza killing thing was bullshit because why were there dead hookers there? Because <laughs> Kira. The real Kara would not care about hookers. Let's get that out of the way. They will be alive. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, what the hookers doing? <laughs> anyway. I would not be there. It would be Watari collecting information. Then I had to call even more bullshit when O went on public appearance. Yet again. If we had the eyes in the movie, it would have been over and done with on that scene. And I would not have cared because I would have been grateful it ended the movie for me. That's how grateful I am. <laughs> but then they did something worse than that. They made the famous calf scene where L was questioning Light on um, what what stuff that he knows from the investigation of them taunting each other to see if he would insist on it and then he would have been like, aha. Instead, Elves, Elves accused him and then Netflix like said everything but I am Kira and I and then Ryuk is forcing me to write names. That's, that's everything except that's what he said. At that moment, Book L would not care about human rights and have locked him up like he did with Misa. He would be locked in the room and the killings would have stopped and then he was like, would have been like, I am right. <laughs> but then he got too emotional when Ukira went to Sakura, J Japan to stop that second Kira thing and got killed on the task force. He told everybody to calm down and he was holding his legs out of rage. Anime L did not show emotion. Netflix L showed emotion and then the one rule that he wouldn't do, use a gun. Yeah, I yeah. never I didn't I didn't, gun. I didn't understand a that. Blowing a gun too that everybody can see him chasing someone. <laughs> <laughs> they can try to keep it discreet, but no. Uh. Got all these lights and shit. <laughs> Why? Makes no sense. At that moment, L would have said in the book that that's when that L lost because he didn't force Kira to reveal himself. Instead, he took a gun and forced it on him. You think these were just last minute changes, maybe? Or am I giving the movie too much credit? You're giving the movie too much credit. I'm trying to be. You, you give everything too much. Hey, yo, listen, listen. I am trying to get to give it some kind of. I, I just. It baffles me. It really, it really baffles me. I'm not expecting a note for note, shot for shot, line for line. Neither am I. Adaptation. No, but I am expecting you to respect the material. They didn't respect it. They they stripped it apart and raped its materials. That's what they did. When Tari wasn't a name, it was an alias. So that would have never happened in the book or anime. Mm. And if we're going to go on to the whole respect the movie universe as what it is, the movie universe didn't respect itself throughout the entire thing, and especially at the end when Misa's like, go get me my note, bitch. When she had the death note, and common sense would have told her, you told this dude straight up you wrote his name in the book? And you're telling him to get the book. What makes you think he's not going to write your name next in the book? That just killed the movie entirely for me. 
entirely. That's a good point. I was having headache pains up to it, but that ending part right there made me be like, fuck this movie. I would have given a rotten Shinigami apple if I could do the ratings. Let's put it that way. Man, I don't even have, I don't even have a, a set rating system because I don't always review movies, but... Rotten Shinigami apple. <laughs> That's what you need to do. Rotten shitty got me apple. Just just one. Cause out of No, the more rotten shitty they're full of shit. Full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> the more shitty got me apples you give, the more you believe it's full of shit. So give as many as you want. <laughs> man, this was oh man, but this was this was great. I think we all brought up some good points and No, there's still a lot more. I know. There was no no tax force at all brought up. The rules themselves, they just made it there just so in the book. They wrote all the rules, and instead, there was like, what, 12 rules written in the beginning? I'm not sure. Mm. I know at least it was around 10 or 12. Is it too much of a gripe for me to say that I think it's stupid that they that both Mia and, and Light came up with the Kira moniker? <sighs> I wouldn't have minded that, in all honesty. But it didn't fit at all. (laughs) Because it was more of Light was writing their names and they were all dying of heart attacks. And the people on the internet were calling him Kira. And it was L that confirmed Kira existed. Right. Light himself at first hated the name of Kira because they were saying killer. But, which, now that I think of it, this brings up a good thing with the Death Note, though. What's that? What happened to if you do not write a person's name within 40 seconds or less? They completely they got rid of that rule. Attack. They got rid of that rule. Because it seems to me you can keep their name indefinitely, Well, but they said up to two days. Mm. And if they don't die, they're going to die randomly. The, <laughs> he did that Light did that because he wanted everybody to know that there is somebody judging you he said that there was too many co- be coincidences and he wanted it to be known that someone was judging them why couldn't they keep the heart attacks I was wondering the same thing because not one person die, died of one and when they and when they did die it was from like a final destination type horrific yeah, thing. it was just that they were sadists. A group of people just walked off that building. Yeah. FBI. Yeah, Should have front flip. <laughs> yeah. The Amer- I don't get why they couldn't keep the guy's name Ray Pember, Pember at all. It was something well, different. I don't know how he know that someone was following him. No clue. I think because Ryuk was invisible in that shop, maybe he told him. They just did. There's a lot of maybes. Ryuk's invisible through most of this movie. Yes. <laughs> Which is sad. <laughs> because a lot of the show was, was dialogue between Light and Ryuk. Right. I would have liked. I would have liked because they did. Because you know, at least they gave him the apple. But okay, remember that. Remember that scene where he explains that he's basically addicted to apples and to him. It's like, it's it's like his heroin. If he doesn't have, no, it, no, he says apples are better in the human world, right? Than they are in my world because the apples there suck. Yeah, it tastes like sand. Yeah, yeah. but remember and then he when he gave it to me so to eat. But remember when he explained why if he doesn't if he doesn't have one he has like withdrawal symptoms. Yes, that was funny. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that would have been a funny moment. That would have been a funny moment right there. <laughs> See, it had potential, but, but they did not, nothing not with it. Guy is like apples. You had that one light chocolate. But. He just had to. At, at least they at least referenced the apples. The the easiest and probably most noticeable reference they could have made. Right, that, that, okay, that was another thing that I found. Well, I find it annoying when people put too much emphasis on certain things. It's like before you even see Ryuk, you, you got like a few close-up shots of an apple, and like. Just to let you know, 
that there's gonna be someone that likes apples. Yeah. Right. And then when you all the apples in that movie, uh, oh, they uh, there's like they give you some shots of candy. And there's like candy that's just sprawled all over the floor around him. Mm-hmm. He would that way so the candy in the first place. But they want you to know he really likes candy. <laughs> and another time they did this is the orphanage with that uh, jar of jelly beans on the ground. Yeah. Because remember, hell used to be here. And that orphanage was abandoned, and all those rats would have eaten that <laughs> or something. <laughs> Which brings me to I that. mean, I, they're, they're so bitching it, and then there's just beating you in the head with, like, yeah, they like this thing, so. So we gotta put this in this movie. So we're mm-hmm. gonna put it everywhere. I. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're the one who wanted to watch it. I I did, I did, I admit it. No, you guys, you guys know, you guys know. I have a I have a habit of of giving watching bad things. West, we know. Look, it's That's not before I know they're bad. I mean, it's not. It, it, I don't think it's right to completely judge something on just a few, you know, just a few previews or whatever. But he well, says yeah, it is because these days they give you just about everything. They don't they don't yeah. hide anything from you. Yeah. I know. Like, don't give you any. There's no wonder watching a trailer these days. You just like, oh man, that's probably what that movie is going to be like. And then you watch it, and you know, you may or may not be surprised, but these days you're less likely are going to be. Yeah, you got the teaser, the trailer, the international trailer, the Japanese trailer, the this trailer, the that trailer. Which I gotta say, everybody. Including myself, that was fans that I talked to it were like, what the fuck is with the Ferris wheel in the trailer? And in the movie, that whole Ferris wheel scene was unneeded. Mm. Well, they went to the Ferris wheel like twice. <laughs> and then he was like, remember, to go to the Ferris wheel. I'm like, why? <laughs> why go to the Ferris wheel like across the fucking town? <laughs> at the end of at the end of the boardwalk, where he can't even get away, and he, they just basically he basically cloned himself on purpose. And then, like at the last minute, he tried to make it seem like it was his grand scheme to do all this. Like, how would you know that a piece of paper was gonna be set on fire in mid free fall? That thing got blown away in the wind and landed in the ocean somewhere. Which brings me into another thing: that whole movie bro about ripping pe- the paper off and and they wouldn't die. Just ad- one person. It added nothing. Yeah. I mean, in the book, there was a one shot where Ryu was, uh, gave the death note to a kid, and the kid was regretting the decisions, so he gave him the death eraser, which erased the names. But this whole ripping off the paper, I could go with it. And burning it, I could go with it. But there was no... He did not word it so that you have to have the person who wrote the name rip off the paper and burn it. So when Mia told her him in the dance to look at it, why couldn't he just rip off the paper himself and then burn it so he wouldn't be dead at midnight? Swat. No common sense. <laughs> no common sense. We've already established that this movie lacks common sense. <laughs> yes, but I'm pointing out all the flaws. They're nagging at me. Mm, I see it, that. It's not. It's not from the show because if the sh- if you were gonna get it from the show, okay, but at least have them smart or not smart at least be able to think for themselves. None of them could do that. None of them. If they weren't so dumb, I would find the movie enjoyable. I didn't even find most of the characters likable. Or passable. Yeah. <laughs> or, or passable. I, I, I didn't find a good chunk of these characters likable at all. I mean... Like I give them, I give them credit for credits due. Like I was okay with, I was okay with L outside of some of the things that he did, but as soon as he walked onto that 
conference <laughs> on live TV. I was like, fuck this out. I, you know, and I've said this before. I was okay with, I was okay with Mia. Um, and light just could have been written better, but the adult, but everybody else around him needed some serious rewriting, you know? Um, but, and I was cool with, Re- and I was cool with Ryuk. So I told you the only thing that was cool about that movie is they gave Ryuk supernatural powers at the end. <laughs> Which now that I'm thinking about it, this is another thing with Ryuk. Who the hell drew his picture of his likeness? I don't know. I was wondering that myself. How come he's all over the Death Note? Like, he's the only Shinigami. No, his drawings are in a different book. Yeah, in a history book that somehow Light found a history book. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He was, like, talking about Death Gods throughout history, and it's just him. Yes. They couldn't even... I I don't know. Well... I didn't get that part. I don't know. I didn't get... Who who was supposed to be able to see him? Because in all those pictures, it was Ryuk eating an apple yeah. with the keeper of the note right then. Yeah. So who was the third person in party that was drawing Ryuk? <laughs> mm, no clue. This, this has so many plot holes, it's Swiss cheese, okay? Look, I, I'm going to end it here for me. I'm not going to talk. The movie was crap. Don't watch it. Save yourself the disappointment. Just go watch the anime. And I have still yet to watch the fourth one with the hacker that's collecting all the death notes. I'm going to expect to be drilled. So I'm going to watch that to hopefully destroy all the disappointment I've gotten just from this one film. Mm. Whew, man. <laughs> uh, Nab, you got anything? You got anything um, to say before we sign off? No, I don't really have much much to add to this. And all I want to say. All right, cool. Well, thank you guys for joining me on this review, and it was just uh, it. it I, I, I just... I, of a trash fire. Got it, it was a... Heck... I had a heck of a time getting... I had a heck of a time getting through this and trying to judge it by itself, which, honestly, I could not. And for those who just, you know, just want to watch it, because if if you have no idea what Death, what Death Note is at all... Watch the anime. Don't bother. Watch the... Watch the, watch the anime or read the manga. Or read the manga. Or read the manga. Japanese movie because no because really and it's not even the fact that this is a bad adaptation because adaptations always have their issues but this is just a bad movie overall <laughs> but just keep it but just keep in mind please that this is just our opinions if you feel differently then you have the right then you have the right to we're just telling you how it is for us it's a bad movie overall these actors they could probably do better with a better script so whoever not, wrote this not freaking that wolf he should go back to the naked brothers band <laughs> thank you guys thank you guys for for doing this review with me thank everyone for listening please like comment subscribe uh Nabjita, check out Nabjita's game pit on his channel check out more of his uh of his content and uh we will see you on the next broadcast peace Love and never be normal.